Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to take a look at Adobe XD and how to build a sidebar and how to make it appear like it slides in from the side. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into the tutorial. Real quick before we begin, this is something I forgot to mention in the tutorial. Here is the hex codes for all the colors we will be using. I also use just pure white. So copy these down and let's get back into the video. So I have two artboards open. The first one is the main artboard and this is going to be where our app launch screen is with our button to take us to the sidebar or slide it in. And this is going to be the sidebar dash main which is going to have our sidebar and part of our main document. The first thing we're going to be doing is creating our sidebar and then we'll just make the main document last. So to make the sidebar, I'm going to zoom in, I'm going to grab the rectangle tool by clicking here and just click and drag from the corner and I'm going to make it about two thirds if not a little more than the screen width. I'm going to remove the border and I'm going to change the fill to this blue color over here. Here's my color palette. This is also in another artboard. I'm just going to drag that above so I can sample. With my rectangle selected, click the eyedropper tool and select, let's do this black. So I want a user profile at the top, so I'm going to drag another rectangle in for that profile. I'm going to remove the border and change the fill to this blue color. So we're going to need a user profile icon, so I'm going to drag in a circle. I'm holding shift while dragging to make a perfect circle. On the border, I'm going to leave it at 1 but change it to white. With the circle selected, I'm going to drag in a profile image, which is just going to be my YouTube profile icon. And XD does a nice job of just placing it in there with a nice crop, so it looks pretty good. Next, I'm going to hit T for the type tool and type in my name. This is going to be the user of the application. I'm going to grab my selection tool again. Let's change the fill on the text to white. The size to, let's try 16. That's looking good. Next, I'm going to hold Alt and click and drag on the text. Double click on it and change this to UI designer so this is going to be like the description of the person using the website change the font size to 12 now I'm going to drag this below okay so I'm going to change the opacity on or the fill I guess it could be a fast opacity on the first text layer my name to 90 just so it doesn't pop so bad and on the tagline or the description 80 so that looks better I'm going to grab both of these and I'm going to align them centered with the profile icon. Now we need our menu for our sidebar, so I'm going to drag in another rectangle. All right, for the fill, I'm going to change it to the same color we have here, so this lighter black. And then for the border, I'm going to change that to this darker black color I have. So it looks like that. So we have a nice underline. All right, next we need to put in our text. I'm going to have five buttons here, and one of them is going to be my profile. I'm going to make the text fill white, and we're going to lower the opacity or fill to 90%, just like we did above. I'm going to create the text size on this to, let's try 16. That looks good. Make sure a line left is selected. What we're doing is we're creating like the first table view cell, if you've done uh, app development at all, and we're going to be taking this cell and creating all the other buttons with that by this really cool feature I'll show you in just a second. Next we're going to have an icon next to our profile indicating that this is a profile, so maybe a user or like a just any kind of icon. So I'm going to drag in a small square and remove the border, and this is going to be our placeholder for that icon. I'm going to center it up with the profile. And it's also being aligned to the left of this icon up here. Now that's looking good. I'm going to click on our rectangle, hold shift, click on my profile, and hold and continuing to hold shift, click on the icon placeholder. I'm going to hit command G. That's going to group those together, and I'm going to click repeat grid. This is the feature I talked about. All we have to do is drag down, so it makes two, three, four, five really easy saves a lot of time now we have the space in here that we want to get rid of so I'm gonna click on that and drag up and you'll see the number on the side goes to zero and I'm going to adjust this 
like that. Next, I'm going to click until this is selected, and then I'm going to double click. And this is going to be help. This is why we align this to the left so everything lines up nicely. The next one is going to be support, then terms and conditions. and then log out. For our icons, I already have a, a series of font awesome icons rendered out of Photoshop. So I'm just gonna select this white circle, or circle, basic shapes, this white square. With it selected, I'm gonna open my finder window and I'm gonna drag in my user icon. Again, these are just from font awesome icons in Photoshop. I've just saved them as a PNG with no background. So I'm gonna click until this is selected. For help, we're going to have a question mark. On support, we're going to have an at symbol. For terms and conditions, we're going to have an exclamation point. And for logout, a logout button or icon. There we go. So that is our sidebar nice and done. Now we need to create our main view, and this needs to be complete with a button to open our sidebar. So the first thing I'm going to do is drag in a white rectangle. I'm going to make sure it is the same width and height as our uh, artboard. I'm going to remove the border. And let's make this a fill of blue. Now I have these two colors of blue in my swatches, so I'm going to go ahead and change this from my fill to a nice gradient. So by clicking on fill and clicking solid color, you can change it to a gradient. The first one is going to be this color, and the second one is going to be this darker blue here. So that looks good. Now I'm just going to drag in another rectangle. I'm going to leave this one white this time. And this is going to be kind of like a cool other window on top of this. So I'm just going to remove the border and add a shadow. And while I'm thinking about it, if you will click on this rectangle and click shadow and in the X put in about five or six, that's going to add a nice shadow on this side of a sidebar so this blue doesn't match with this and it just looks a lot better. I forgot to mention that, sorry about that. So now we have this, I'm going to go ahead and add some text on here. I'm just going to put, let's start. This is going to be, let's do 30. And I'm going to change it from a regular weight to medium. And we're just using Helvetica font, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. I'm going to center this up. Now let's put it about there. I'm going to hold Alt and click on it to copy it. Here I'm going to put, join millions of users. I'm going to change it back to a regular weighted font. And I don't think I have it selected, do I? Oh, there we go. With it selected, I'm going to change it back to a regular weighted font. And let's try 16 for the size. There we go. I'm going to center that up below there. Now we need a start button. So the user wants to start the app. So I'm just going to drag in a rectangle about that size. And I'm going to click on these little dots and drag them in to make this nice rounded button going to remove the border and on the fill I'm going to change it to our blue color that we've been using. Let's center this up and T for the text tool and I'm just going to put start. So this is 20 sized font, regular weight. I'm going to line it centered and I'm going to change the fill color to white. Center that up inside our button. This button may be a little large so I'm going to scale it down and center it back up. So that looks good. Now let's do something pretty cool. Let's just add some circles up here for our icon, um, which is basically the logo of the app to go on. So I'm going to hold shift and drag in a big circle, center it up, change the fill to our blue, remove the border. Let's add some shadow on there. Yeah, that looks cool. Let's do some more. Uh, hold alt. I'm going to drag this one here and alt and drag this one down here. A little asymmetry going there. I'm going to select the centered one and I'm going to hit command in the right square bracket key until it comes to the front. 
or you can right click and go to bring to front or bring forward which is what I did bring forward that looks pretty cool for our app icon I'm just gonna use a lock icon again I just got this from the font uh, awesome uh, Photoshop plugin just rendered them out with no background I accidentally put that there sorry just drag it in over here on the side and it's quite large so I'm gonna hold shift and alt and scale it down keeping the same aspect ratio and centered on the scaling and let's line that up like that let's add the name of our app we'll just call it lock I'm sure that app name is taken but we'll do it anyway let's do a fill white 36 sized font make it pretty large and let's change this to bold to kind of match our nice lock icon so I'm going to drag that centered up and let's drag both of these I'm holding shift and clicking on this to do a multiple selection let's drag it a bit down there we go that's looking good last thing we just need is our sidebar button so the button's going to open the sidebar I'm just going to use a standard menu button which is three bars again this is pretty large so I'm going to scale it down to about there zoom in a bit and let's put it in the corner like that so this is going to be the button that opens the sidebar so now let's grab all of these I'm just clicking and dragging and command C over here I'm going to select by clicking on the sidebar main here and command V I'm also going to click com or hold command and press G to group all these together then I'm going to right click and send it back so now we have our sidebar over top of our design we're going to be creating the sidebar sliding in so I'm going to drag this over so we can have that visual effect going and I'm going to make sure the rectangles align like that so now you can see the sidebar has already slid in and everything got pushed over to the side and this is why we add the uh, drop shadow in there so you can see the separation there it's looking good the final thing we need to do is if you've used any application at all more than likely you've had a sidebar that slides open like this and if you click anywhere over here it closes that so to do that I'm gonna drag in a rectangle on the remainder of the screen that's not covered by the sidebar I'm gonna remove the border and the fill and I'm gonna name this close button if you don't have your layers open you can click this button down here this opens and closes the layer so now all we have to do is go into the prototype tab to finish this design alright so I'm going to the prototype tab now I'm gonna select my three bars which is gonna open our sidebar so it's gonna have this little arrow next to it I'm gonna click and drag that to our sidebar so our target is a sidebar dash main that's the name of our artboard the transition we want is going to be push right and that's because this is on the left and we want it to come in from over there so it's going to push all this content to the right is basically what that means I want easing to be on in and out you can google easing and get a good definition it basically makes it look smoother um, just add it <laughs> and then the duration of 0.1 seconds because we want it to be as quick as we can so the user can't tell that this actually is not just sliding in on top of this right here it's actually loading another view we don't want them to realize that so we want it 0.1 seconds to grab our rectangle here for our close button I'm gonna double click on my sidebar main and click on close button so that allows us to click on it since it's empty we can't actually just click on it over here I'm gonna drag this arrow back to our main view and we just need to change to push left the target is main and easing is on in and out and 0.1 seconds for the duration again all right, so now if we click the play button in the top right corner, which is the live preview button, it'll show us the preview of the application, and we can click on our sidebar button, and it loads in the sidebar, and it slides in nicely. We could go into more detail in this application and make this my profile, go to another uh, artboard, just same thing with all the other buttons. We could even make a profile and everything else. And if you click over here, it closes. So it's a nice smooth transition. Uh, this is the thing I really like about Adobe XD. You can hand this to the client and show them a prototype of what their application will actually look like. And this does a good job of showing them, hey, this is going to slide in from the side. This is as close as we can get without programming. So this is a good solution to that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. 
Leave a like if you did. Have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, it's Kaler. Thanks for watching the video. Click here to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you want to see this channel grow even more, don't forget to share this video. You can click the share button down below. Over here is YouTube's recommendation just for you, so go check out that video and let me know what you think in the comments. Up here is my newest video, and if you haven't seen it already, go give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.